5G allows functions disaggregation. Each function is specified with a clear interface and protocols to glue them all together. The functions can be deployed in different locations, some being mutualized in the central unit and some closer to user equipment, making the network infrastructure similar to a cloud with multiple locations. Nevertheless, by nature, cellular networks heavily rely on hardware either to produce the desired radio signals or to accelerate the treatment of information, as it is common to expect bandwidth over hundreds of gigabit per second. It results that the new cellular networks are the juxtaposition of complex software stacks to form clouds and a collection of heterogeneous pieces of hardware used to accelerate treatments and process radio signals, all of them being intimately coupled. It then becomes harder and harder to solely rely on models or simulations to evaluate new propositions and compare them with other options. For this reason, testbeds proposing to combine all these elements together are key to research. In this demonstration, we present the SofiaNet testbed and how it can be used to deploy 5G experiments involving complex interaction between hardware and software. The testbed is made available to the researchers and the industry. It is composed of compute and radio resources interconnected with high-speed links. The SOFIA node is composed of two compute clusters deployed in the premises that are 1,000 feet away and directly interconnected with a 600 gigs per second optical link. Each cluster is composed of P4 programmable switches that form a canonical leaf spine topology. One of the clusters is connected to the air tulip anechoic chamber that offers a fully controlled environment, while the other cluster is connected to an outdoor and an indoor 5G network. The SOFIA node is part of the SLICES project. SLICES is a pan-European research infrastructure serving as an experimental collaborative instrument for researchers. It offers advanced compute, storage and network components interconnected by very high-speed links. In this demonstration, we will show how to automatically build the core of the SOFIA node with MCDEV. As you can see, it is composed of one spine switch called spine 1 and two leaf switches called leaf 1 and leaf 2 respectively. First thing first, we will install the desired operating system on the switches. Then we create a Kubernetes cluster where they are resources. Finally, we set up a control plane with ONOS and a P4 data plane. Due to time constraints, we do not show the provisioning of the RAM. Let's get started. To ensure reproducibility of experiments, nodes are always treated as bare metal devices and firmware and operating systems are always installed prior to experiments. Here, we install ONL. It's a Linux version tuned for P4 switches. In this particular demonstration, we use ONU to install the OS, though we can also load it live via Redfish. The switches are set up such that they are reset to factory settings before any experiments. OK, now that switches are provisioned properly, we can build a cloud environment. More precisely, the switches form a Kubernetes cluster. First, one switch is dedicated to be the master node and then the other switches are set up as normal Kubernetes nodes. We then integrate compute nodes to the newly formed Kubernetes cluster. Note that we only use one compute node in this demonstration, though in the production testbed there are several. Also note that we omitted to show the provisioning of compute nodes operating systems in the demo. As you can see, different container runtimes and operating systems can be used in the cluster. The cluster is also set up with Calico and Maltus that are required to allow segregation of communications with the radio resources. Users can then connect their 5G functions with independent network interfaces. Now that we have a fully functional cloud environment, we can deploy components to form our 5G network. We first install ONOS. ONOS is a distributed SDN controller offered by the ONL. This controller is in charge of controlling the network resources in the infrastructure. For instance, 
SD fabric is used to build the network fabric in our test bed and Onas is in charge of managing network events and to install PIP4 pipelines in the switches. In addition to SD fabric, we also install SD core, a disaggregated mobile core that implements 4G and 5G cores. To speed up the demonstration, we pre-built SD core and SD fabric. However, in normal conditions, we build them on the Flyvis P4 Studio that must be published by experimenters in their private Docker registry that the Sophia node offers. In order for NOS to interact with the P4 switches, we install Stratum on each switch. Stratum allows to make the link between the high-level interfaces provided by ONOS and the low-level interfaces needed to program the switches themselves. In this case, our switches are equipped with Tofino and Tofinoto ASICs, and Stratum installs a pipeline built to operate SD Fabric and SD Core together. ONOS also populates the match action tables of these pipelines via the interface with Stratum. Now that ONOS and Stratum are properly installed and set up, we can connect to the ONOS dashboard to visually check that everything is working as expected. Since the experimenter computer is not part of the Sophia node, we must first proxy to the ONOS dashboard. For that particular reason, when we deploy ONOS, we also deploy a Kubernetes service to reach it. This service is reachable from anywhere in the Sophia node testbed. It is then just required to proxy to this service to make it reachable from the local host of the experimenter. The ONOS dashboard shows that the topology has been discovered properly by ONOS by means of LLDP messages and RFC discovery. The hosts that appear in the topology are compute and radio resources that we set up in the testbed even though we didn't show you it, this process due to time constraints. The compute resources are connected with breakout cables. This is why the switches appear with more than 32 ports. Finally, you can check that communications are possible between devices connected on the network. For that, we will send traffic at a rate of 1 kilo packet per second between one USRP and a server. Since statistics are collected periodically, the rate shown on the dashboard is not immediately equal to 1k, though it converges to this value. With this demonstration, we showed how the Sophia node testbed can be automatically provisioned to provide a core infrastructure for 5G experiments. Up to you to use it at your wish. Thank you.